What's up, Madden 15 fans? Welcome back to another YouTube video, guys. Today I'm bringing you a little preview. Uh, I got a blitz for you out of my uh, free, or not my free, it's actually me five bucks this year. My nickel 335, uh, nickel 245, nickel wide 39, or wide 9335. Uh, but all three of those are going to be included in this guide, and we're showing you a little blitz here out of it. Uh, real quick, I just want to go over the one one of them out of the 245, and this is one that was actually around last year. Um, it's, it's still here. It's still in the game. And uh, the, the blitz comes to us from the silver sh silver shoot pinch in the nickel 245 formation. Uh, we're going to try to generate A-gap pressure. Now, I do understand that this is uh, a blitz that maybe works 60-40 or 70-30% of the time, but... Uh, it is a good blitz. I think it is good mainly because there's a coverage version of it that is actually really effective. So, uh, silver shoot pinch for the nickel 245. What we want to do is we want to come out, we want to pinch the defensive line, we want to crash the defensive line down, and we want to zone everybody on the right or the left side of the screen. So, this defensive tackle here, or the defensive end on the left side, we want to zone him up. He's actually a linebacker in the 245. And then a the slot corner here, Powers, we want to zone him off as well. From there, we want to user control the middle linebacker, Daryl Washington. Uh, we want to kind of just sit him right here in the A, and you see that it's going to generate some almost A-gap pressure. Sometimes it comes in, sometimes it doesn't, uh, but it is a very effective blitz here. Let me try something real quick, maybe make it a little bit better uh, for us here. Let me see if this actually makes it even better. I don't know for sure if it will, and it doesn't. Okay, I wanted to try uh, one other adjustment to see, uh, one additional adjustment to see if it would actually improve the blitz, but it really doesn't. Uh, so the blitz is kind of finicky. Sometimes it will come in, sometimes it won't, but uh, the times it does come in, it's worth it because you're only sending four people. Uh, so here I'm going to do the same setup. I'm going to pinch the defensive line, crash the defensive line down, and then I'm going to zone everybody on the left side of the screen. Uh, and then I like to user control with Washington over the middle. And here, uh, you see that they did a better job at picking it up that time. The more you run the play in practice mode, the, the easier it is to pick up. Uh, one other thing real quick. just want to see if this works even a little bit better. It doesn't. Okay. So I wanted to try spreading the linebackers because there's a blitz I got in the E-Guide that's actually... Um, it's actually better if you spread the linebackers. Anyway, uh, so that is the four-man version. Real quick, I'm going to just run a blitz off the other side here. Uh, let me see if I've got it in this playbook. I do have it in here. So I just want to run a blitz off that other side just to kind of free, uh, get the lineman thinking that way so I can run the other blitz and show you the rest of it. But um, uh, let's see here. I want to show you the coverage version first. Uh, so the coverage version you can run out of any uh, basic coverage. Uh, so you can like run out of cover 2, cover 3. I have the cover 2 show 4 in my audibles here. And what I like to do is uh, it's very fairly simple. You just want to base a line. You want to pinch the D-line, you want to crash the D-line down, and then from there, I like to man up both of these outside uh, linebackers here on a, on the slot receivers. And you see in this situation, you're only sending two people. Uh, sometimes this is actually even better, and you see there comes the comes through the A-gap. Uh, it gets caught up a little bit as he's getting back to the quarterback, but it is a fairly effective blitz. We'll show it to you that. show that to you one more time here. Uh, so any basic play, and you just want to base a line, pinch the D-line down, crash the D-line uh, to the middle, and then you just want to zone off. Or I like to man up. If you're in a zone play, man them up. And uh, you do that to the two outside linebackers. And so that you're only sending two people. And this one actually comes in a little better in practice mode. But the one that sends like four, uh, it comes in a little bit better in the game mode. So you see, you'll see what I'm talking about when you get to the in-game online head-to-head -head mode. Uh, so real quick, we'll do a little review. We'll do both of them one more time. Uh, so the, f the one where you're actually sending a little bit more pressure, you're sending four guys. Uh, the setup is you want to pinch the D-line crash the D-line down, and then you want to zone um, anyone that's blitzing on the left side of the field. And so you see I do that, and then you're looking to get that A-gap pressure. And there you see, if the A-gap doesn't come in, oftentimes the backer will actually swoop in behind him. So uh, that was a pretty good example of that happening. And then second, uh, you call any generic play. It could be two men under. It could be two at cover, two sink, any, anything you want. And you want to base a line, pinch the D-line, crash the D-line to the middle, and then you can zone or man up those two defensive ends on the outside. Uh, so you're only seeing two people. And uh, this one often gets uh, some decent A-gap pressure at the quarterback. Uh, if the, obviously, if the quarterback eludes the sack, there's really not a whole lot I can do for you. Uh, but it is a good blitz. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, and real quick, just be sure to be on the lookout for some more uh, Madden 15 videos that I'm going to have coming soon. We're going to be talking how to beat man, how to beat zone, uh, how to blitz beyond just uh, blitzes like this. We're kind of unique to a formation. We're going to show you how to universally blitz and all that. So be on the lookout for that. Otherwise, guys, that's all I've got for you today. 
Thanks for watching. And we'll